Sometimes we sound like God just really wants us to do, do, do all this stuff. If you're not praying or reading your Bible or serving, you know, being a part of a local church community from a place of freedom, then what are you doing it for? What are you trying to prove? For myself, a lot of times, I am trying to prove. I'm trying to, you know, be a good Christian. That's what you do, right? That's what I've been taught to do. And those things, of course, in and of themselves are great gifts. But if, if we don't treat them like gifts, we treat them like tasks that we have to do to earn affection, to earn love, to earn respect. It doesn't seem like that's a sustainable faith at all. If you don't need to do certain things, but you get to, well then it you could do the same things, but from a totally different posture. So instead of having to pray, you get to pray. Instead of having to serve, instead of having to walk around your neighborhood and figure out what's going on and get involved with God is up to you there, you, you do that because you'd want to, because you'd be functioning from a place of freedom as, a pla as opposed to a place of guilt. So, the things that we do, the practices that we practice, might not be functionally any different, but we'd be seeing them through a totally different lens. I would think real hard about what, what you feel like God says you have to do. Because if there's anything that you have to do to, to earn God's love in any reasonable sense, then it doesn't seem like it's at least the God of the Bible.